Welcome everyone. This is the first of four clips about the Oryx challenge mode. In this clip you will get the actual info on how to complete the challenge, as well as how to build your character and some tips of course. The next movies are the three different views of this challenge, so even the least practiced player knows what to do and can cope in a fire team. This tactic is the easiest and 95% failsafe if everyone does their part. First things first, the best fire team to complete this challenge is 3 warlocks, 2 titans and 1 hunter. The warlocks use self res their build is not that important. Equip your touch of malice, a good sniper and a heavy machine gun. The titans use defender, 1 weapons of light, 1 blessing of light, this is very important. Make sure to select Bastion and illuminate it. This way your bubble is more powerful and stays active a lot longer. Your equipment is the same as the Warlocks. Touch of Malice, a good sniper and a heavy machine gun. The Hunter uses Night Stalker. This build is maybe the most important of all three of them. Use Triple Jump, Black Hole, Vanishing Smoke, Light of the Pack and Predator. Equip a good primary, a sniper and the exotic solar sword. To make it a lot easier, start the mission and run back to the first part of the map. This way all the heads can be tethered in the middle. By doing so, all the dropped ammo and lots of orbs are perfectly positioned in the center where everyone can pick it up. On totem A and B spawns a knight, make sure to take these out quickly. Now for the positioning. The two titans stand in the center of the map, between the two high pillars on which the sisters were standing. The hunter is a jumper and always starts on the pillar Oryx hits. The three warlocks main positions are totem A, B and C. Totem D is empty. Before starting, divide the positions, so everyone knows what their job is. Now starts part 1. Oryx is going to hit pillar A or B. Let's say he hits B. Then this is the pillar where the sequence starts. Once he has hit, the jumper jumps on the pillar, shortly followed by the pillar B warlock. Once they're on, the pillar A warlock jumps on his totem, followed by warlock C on his totem. Keep standing on the platform and don't jump. The warlocks are in charge of killing their own knights. These spawn at the opposite side. For instance, after killing Ogre on platform A, the knight spawns in the upper right corner next to platform B. Of course, there is one spare knight, the one of the pillar no one is standing on. This knight is killed by the titans standing in the center. At the same time the hunter jumps on his, the first platform, the titans both put up their bubble and start shooting the ogres. This is their main concern. If you have the touch of malice, don't reload because there is a blessing you have more than enough health. Make sure to step in the bubbles between killing every ogre. The first ogre always spawns at the pillar the sequence starts. When the hunter has the relic, he calls it out. At this moment, the warlocks join the titans in the center of the map. The hunter runs to the vessel and smashes it. After smashing, he takes out his solar sword and kills the vessel. It only takes two hits. Once this is done, he runs as fast as possible to the rest of the fire team in the center, making them immortal. Now starts part 2. Oryx is going to hit a second time on the same platform as he did earlier. At this moment, everyone needs to focus on his stomach and start shooting until he is staggered. Once he is staggered, only one of the titans keeps shooting his stomach to keep it open. The rest of the players shoot all the ads until Oryx moves. The titan still shooting him calls it out when this happens. There will spawn two more knights again on pillar A and B. Take them out as quickly as you can. At the same time Oryx will spawn a bubble of mist. Don't touch it, because you will die. Once they are, they are dead, split into two groups and go to the upper corners of the map. Here adds will spawn, whom you need to kill before they go into the mist. Randomly you'll be teleported inside a mist, where you need to kill the Shade of Oryx. At a certain moment, the Shade of Oryx will charge to the center of the mist. Don't let him hit you, because he will die instantly as well. 
The hunter may only use his tether on the Shade of Oryx when he is on the outside, otherwise he is stuck in the center and will hit more than once. Once the Shade is killed, the whole thing starts over again. Very important is the following. If the relic is above pillar A, B or C, the warlock standing on that particular pillar needs to move to pillar D. All the rest stays the same. The fourth time you completed the sequence by staggering oryx, kill the adds as the previous runs. Once most the adds are dead, one player counts down. 3, 2, 1, go! At this point, the three warlocks run to the detonations next to their pillars where the ogres spawned. It are those black puddles with a big orb in the middle of them. Step inside until you see your name pop up four times in the lower left corner of your screen. If this happens, run as fast as possible back to the center where you'll be safe for the big explosion. One of the titans must do the same with the detonation of pillar D. Plan ahead and make sure you know which of the titans does this task. When you're back in the center, keep shooting Oryx's stomach until he leaves for the front of the map. Now everyone takes out their sniper and shoots Oryx's stomach for one last time. Congratulations, you just whooped Oryx's ass challenge mode style. Thanks for watching, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If so, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel.